Mr. Kiran Kumar, thanks a lot for speaking to ZeroBase. My first question to you, sir. Today you made an announcement that you will be making data which is six months old available. Last time we spoke to you in Bangalore, you had cited some reasons, some security reasons that why it can't be made available. What changed, sir, in three months? Today we are providing the data which is two years old. So that period we are reducing. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, today also it's not that we are not providing. Today also we are providing. Only what we are providing is two year old data. So instead of that, now we want to reduce that period. So one of the thing is globally also, if you look at the uh, up to certain resolution, the data is being made available free. So we also need to make sure that whatever data we generate is made accessible to the people in the country. But do you completely agree with the current data policy that we have? It's always see whatever policy you make, you can always raise any questions on that. So whether it is right or wrong is very only time will tell. So we have been hearing a lot about our own uh, GPS. Uh, tell us more about that, sir. You just launched fifth satellite, I guess on 20th of January. Yeah. Uh, when it is going to be completed? See, we have two more satellites in the current constellation of seven satellites that we are completing in the month of March. 10th March, we have the sixth one and tentatively we are uh, targeting 31st of March as the seventh one. So this will complete the constellation of seven satellites, which will provide data for India and around India, about 1500 kilometers boundary area. So with this, uh, we will have our own uh, equivalent of GPS for our region uh, using this and this is available in what we call the L5 and S band frequency ranges and uh, so it's the constellation once the satellite is launched we need about two months time for the data from that satellite to become stable because clocks which are used on the satellites they require a time for stabilization for the kind of positional accuracy that is needed so once it is uh, that means in some time in uh, May end the data will become stable for the last satellite and then sometime in June, July you can say it will become fully usable in the constellation. So uh, by June, July can we use our own GPS? No, even today we can use because with the fifth sat fourth satellite itself we were getting mm -hmm. but because of the geostationary configuration, so the, with the fifth satellite we will get for the entire 24 hour period mm -hmm. accuracy is better than a few meters you will get with the receiver, our own receiver. Mm -hmm. So in about a month, couple of months time from now you can say for most of India you will get. Now the remaining 6th and 7th, they are extending the region of observation. Even GPS with 24 satellites, if I'm not wrong, doesn't give us accurate uh, you know, data or accurate figure. No. H how, how could we get uh, accurate, how could you claim that we will be getting accurate data uh, with just 7 satellites? No. no, see when GPS has got 24 satellites, that is for covering the entire globe. globe. Whereas ours is only our region. Mm -hmm. We are interested more in ensuring, see we want to come up with an effective solution for our region. So we are not at this point of time worrying about the global thing. So all these seven satellites are practically visible to the ground receiver all the time. So whereas even in the GPS constellation though 24 etc are there, at any given point of time the number of satellites visible to the receiver is limited. Second thing is now the accuracy we are talking about. Today we are providing a service called Gagan where using the GPS satellite system we are also providing additional information about the satellite's position itself and the kind of errors that it is uh, generating based on about 28 receiving stations set up around the country. So which enables you to tell which satellite data you can rely at this point of time and then for ionospheric correction we have a model and the Gagan enables the receiver to find out for determining the position at that instant of time whatever satellites it is taking whether it is it can rely on that satellite or not. Mm -hmm. So because of that and also all the ionospheric corrections which are required for that instant computation the information is provided in Gagan. So that's how Gagan enables you to get more accura better accuracy than GPS itself and it's also certified by our uh, civil aviation ministry so that uh, what is called safety of life and integrity is guaranteed that means if you get a position in gagan enabled receiver 
you can rely on that for safety of life activities like aircrafts are going to use them many of them have already fitted all future aircrafts of both india and outside will carry such receivers this is on the gagan gps whereas our thing we because it's a 24 by 7 continuously visible see kind of certain types of errors which are possible in a gps system will not be there in this and we are also doing all the ionospheric corrections required for that that's why we are confident that we will be able to provide accurate information using this system you recently you held a meeting in bangalore where all these mobile manufacturers had come and all players from gs platform had come are you is isro encouraging the use of uh, uh, you know you will be completing uh, the launch of no already you know for example already we are making all the necessary information mm -hmm. required for service providers or uh, any entrepreneur mm -hmm. to make use of these signals and uh, do their uh, product generation but so this already in public domain but will they be will uh, is isro encouraging mobile devices or the users to switch from okay, gps to iron you are talking about devices. mobile itself okay so there one of the thing is currently the kind of uh, frequency at which we are operating l5 and mm -hmm. s if you look at mm -hmm. l5 sig signal probably is uh, amenable for that so we have to work on that right now with respect to mobile itself we have not done anything with isro's irns mission almost in its last leg do you see india emerge as a global manufacturing center for gns sensors means with respect to the usage whatever uh, our irns based we can use we can be looking at possibility of extending to our neighboring regions mm -hmm. with so there are some discussions currently which we have started with our neighboring countries for extending this so this cannot become a global in the current form so current form what we can get from our irns is regional so but within our region and then extending on both on the gulf side as well as on the korean side possibilities exist and we are looking at that and already there are many manufacturers who are trying to incorporate in their processing systems for positioning information using irns also both gagan and irns they are already doing that as a common man let me i'm very curious to ask you this question as a common man i feel proud that i will be using my own gps but how do i can i download it from google play store can you elaborate it sir for a com from a common man's perspective that how can and when can we use our own gps yeah if you are looking what from a common man and then using on handheld devices we are still some distance away mm -hmm. it's not that it is going to happen within few months because the mobile devices whatever reception chain that is there in that today they are tuned for the frequencies of the gps uh, the global positioning system so whereas this requires a frequency which is slightly different from that so but efforts are on to make sure that future systems will incorporate this and the devices within the country and surrounding the country can make use of this signal and give you the position based on that but there are a lot of other other applications where receiver systems are being developed see we have got some uh, industries developing products based on our uh, software as well as the solutions there are some companies with their own solutions also manufacturing but these are not handheld mobile devices but they are slightly bigger ones but which provide accurate positioning information for various other applications when it comes to the mobile itself we still have to do a lot of work before it gets incorporated into the mobile device any any time period in time frame mr kin kumar that you can set for us no right now i don't think i am in a position to tell you that but uh, we'll need to work towards that all the best for that project sir and thanks a lot for speaking to me thank you